Before you can balance the declination axis, you've got to loosen the safety screw, which is located in this hole here. This other hole holds the spring plunger, which provides the spring load between the worm and the gear. If you insert a 1 8 inch Allen wrench into this and loosen it approximately one full turn, you will then be able to pull away the worm from the gear and work on balance. Once you've loosened the safety screw on the declination worm block assembly, you're ready to test the balance of the optical tube assembly. We recommend two people are available if it is a large telescope or an expensive telescope and you're not confident that it's already close to balance. As soon as you push in on the motor like this, you disengage the worm from the gear and the optical tube assembly is free to rotate on the declination axis. If I let go of this, you can see it wants to move down so it's not quite balanced. It is probably close enough though, seeing as how we have not added the CCD camera yet. Once you're satisfied with the balance of the declination axis, always remember to return the safety screw to the safety position. Insert the hex head, the eighth inch hex, into the safety screw and rotate it all the way down until it comes in full contact with the metal and then back it off approximately one eighth of a turn. This will allow a small amount of motion of the deck worm block, but it will not allow it to disengage so that the telescope can turn freely.